One of the coolest things about our product is that, yes, it's a health intervention because it does have a dramatic impact on health, but it's something that people just want. And so it's not a hard sell because people, people do dream of having a clean floor, just have never been able to afford it. Earth Enable came out of a class at Stanford called Design for Extreme Affordability. We were partnered with an organization here in Rwanda called the Mass Design Group, and they gave us the challenge to find a way to make homes healthier. When we got to Rwanda, we were looking at everything from kitchen gardens to natural ventilation techniques to water filters. Part of the concept of the class is to start wide and then narrow, then go wide and then narrow. The most important part of, of the process was spending time with people in their homes, really trying to understand why, 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 why. With something that came up so often was the fact that they didn't feel like they could keep their homes clean. And it just became so clear that the dirt floor was causing many different issues all the time and just creating a very unsanitary living environment. When we would ask them also, why don't you upgrade your floor? And of course, it's just way too expensive. Concrete, $300 for a tiny home. That would take about a year of savings when you're talking about a population that makes about $2 a day. And so you have 90% of the population now living and sleeping on dirt. There's actually been a study that shows that replacing a dirt floor with a clean floor reduces diarrhea by 49% and parasitic infections by 78%. So we knew the health impacts are there. Meanwhile, this is basically a one-time intervention that lasts then for the entire lifetime of the house, and, and people wanted it, and it requires no behavior change. So to us, this is a home run if we can figure out a cheaper floor. So we went back to Stanford and then started prototyping and testing and researching and brainstorming and had a whole range of terrible ideas, including these um, elevated plastic tiles. And one of the tenets of the class is to fail early and fail often, so this wasn't a bad thing, but at that point we were getting kind of nervous. And then we were just Googling alternative flooring again and then came across an earthen floor that was done in California. The reason that they do it in America is because this kind of floor is much more environmentally sustainable than concrete. There's this lake at Stanford, a dried out lake that had some clay content, so just went and started playing in the mud. Turns out it's super easy, it's sand and it's clay, you kind of smear it around, you trowel it, we got it to be really smooth, and then once you put on the linseed oil, the floor became waterproof, like dirt became waterproof. It was amazing. But the problem was that we could not find linseed oil in Rwanda. So that's when Rick comes in. So Rick is my co-founder. He was a biochemistry PhD candidate and we asked him, can you try to create a cheaper oil that's made from locally available oils? And so he potted around in the lab and figured it out. That became our project. We didn't actually invent anything. It was largely taking an existing technology and a proven technique and bringing that to Rwanda. In Rwanda, Earth Enable is known as Tubeheza. That's our, that's our local brand. Tubeheza means living well. Living well, living beautifully. Okay, the process of making a floor is really simple. We start by leveling out the floor and making sure that there's a nice two degree angle for the water to flow out. After that, we then put a layer of laterite and compact it. Laterite is this clayish uh, soil, rocky material that's all over Rwanda. Once we have the stable base and get this uh, flat surface, we do the finishing. On top of that, we let it dry for maybe a week or so. Then we vanish on top and the floor is done. Someone can move in after a week and it continues to cure over years. So floors that we've been back to that are a couple years old are really hard and really strong. Like you can't scratch it with a key. Well, if you, I actually used my car key to try to scratch so many floors that it started at arrowheaded and then my car key didn't even work anymore. Earth Enables culture is very collaborative. Everyone from a mason to a sales rep to a driver might have an idea and a lot of those ideas actually have gotten adopted. We've really found ways to leverage the collective knowledge uh, within the company to, to serve our customers better. We're trying to work with our customers in a way that we don't want to see them as beneficiaries, but instead we want to work in line with them. 
We have an open line for them to call us 24 hours, which is free for them. We do a lot of follow-ups with our customers to understand how was the process of the installation of the floor, but at the same time, what are suggestions that you have that we can do better in our next customers that we meet. I definitely get the chills when it comes to seeing the changes in these families. After you're done with their floor, you come back and visit them and you see how happy they are and how excited they are to have someone come back and see how they're doing. Nuko umudugudu umukuru umudugudu ashinzwe kurebera abaturage be iterambere by'imibereho myiza icyabavana ahantu habi kikabajyana ahantu heza eh iyo niyo nshingano ndumba duhuriye ho natubeheza So there are billions of people who live and sleep on dirt floors all over the world we think the solution can be scaled globally we see no reason why, why everybody in the world can't live and sleep on a clean floor.